you, you know, so how do you, so where do you want them to have, what, what future do you want them to have? They don't have, yeah, yeah. So, so this is, this, these are the real problems that our youth have been reduced to such hopelessness, yeah, that is so easy to turn them into whatever at this point. Yeah. Into I, yeah. It's crazy. I talk about Nigeria with you because I know that it's a lived experience that both of us have, but it is a microcosm of what is happening in the rest of the continent and to a degree in the world, because I mean, we saw in, in New York where the inequalities here, um, the discriminations. Um, so, you know, across the world, we are not at peace with um, who, what we need to be doing. And so, you know, you have a voice now that has uh, a following where people will listen, you're an influencer. Um, and so how do you speak to the world from your lived reality of seeing injustice around um, in different forms, whether it is Niger Delta or, or, you know, the North? I mean, for me, I just i am the most real, realistic and realist person you'll ever meet. I, have, I don't know how to sugarcoat anything and I don't know how to be politically correct. So this is why I usually don't have these conversations. I just put them in music. <laughs> I'll, end up, I'll end up getting in trouble. <laughs> well, I think that's something, um, maybe perhaps that's a Nigerian trait because uh, often people ask me, well, you know, diplomacy, and it's not in my vocabulary because uh, we don't have time um, for long English. We really I'm need not, to get to the... We, can't we need to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.